we have first drafted together a bubble skirt and then we seamed it together and we found out that it was a little bit too long for my liking. So today we are going to be actually redrafting this pattern, well not redrafting, but we're going to be editing this pattern in Clo 3D to shorten up that bubble skirt to create a shorter bubble. Hi, I'm Christina and I love to digitally apparel pattern creating unique pieces of wearable art and I'm excited to get this pattern altering today. So I'm going to bring up my Clo workspace and we're going to dive right in onto this pattern. So I'm just going to zoom in. And let's see here. I think let's start by raising it six inches. Yeah, let's let's go for it. Let's go for it and see what happens because we can always change what we're going to do. So I'm just going to, what do I want to do? I think I'm actually going to do a offset of internal line six inches up. And hit OK. So what's really nice is I can kind of see, let me pull that out, where that's going to hit on her. So and then we know we added six inches onto the hem of the skirt. So it'll drop three inches. So let's, I'm going to do another line just to give myself a few, um, a few guided. So let's go nine inches. Hit OK. Whoops. So let's just select the one line. Nine inches. OK. Because then that should, theoretically, that should have it go down to here and up which I kind of like better. So we're going to do the same thing on the circle part of the skirt. So we're going to highlight those two lines offset as an internal line, nine inches. We're going to do the same thing over here. Now I have this in multiple se sections. So what I'm going to do is highlight all of them. Offset as an internal line, nine. And last one, we're going to highlight both of these. Offset as an internal line, nine. Okay. Next, it's time to just cut them apart and see what happens and delete, which means we're going to have to re sew stuff. So we're just going to highlight and say cut. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Can't see that one yet. We're going to cut. Get rid of that. Cut. Get rid of that. It's getting short. Oh, let's just grab that internal line. There we go. There we go. So now we have to re-seam it together on the places that we cut all the seams apart. So we're going to start here, go there, and there. Start at the other end and go down. Other end and go down. We're going to start that end and to there that end and to there. Now we can kind of see, looks like it's all going to be good. I mean, you can kind of see there's what a circle skirt would look like on this girl. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping I'm not going to have to do too many issues. I might because it's seeming, so you can see the seam lines kind of on the outside here a little bit. That can cause some problems. So I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to reset. Oh, I need to be in this one. Uh, reset 3D. There we go.
that will give us those straight lines just like so. I'm gonna get nice and close in there. And do the same with reset 3D. And of course it went to that location. That's okay. We're going to maneuver it around. Pull and flip. Everything looks good. So now the only thing that's going to be in the way is now the arms. So we're going to move those arms on up. So let's get into our library, find our pose, Well, it simulated it, but it worked much shorter. Whoops, I'm not simulating at the moment. Let's go ahead and move the pose back down. There we go. And let's keep simulating. Give this just a little bit. If I'm actually clicked on there, let's pull that. But there we go. That is how fast and easy I can edit a sewing pattern in Clo 3D. Super fast. It, you know, just because you just cut stuff away, re-sew it, and re-seam it together. If I wanted to go another inch or two up, it would just be cut, 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 sew, sew, sew. And then you can re-see it on your avatar. You just kind of have to always make sure when you're actually seaming it, you're not seaming through <laughs> arms. You kind of saw it seam through arms, but the arms were moving up as it was going. Didn't cause too many problems there in the end. But that's something you always kind of have to watch and that what you're doing. But that is how fast you can actually edit a pattern once you kind of had that base pattern ready to go in Clo 3D. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you can see other fun ways to digitally apparel pattern and you can start creating your own pieces of unique wearable art uh, on the computer. You can simulate it, see it, how it can fit on the computer, and then build it yourself. I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy patterning!